The blimp is equipped with a rapid deflation device. Now, whether it worked properly is part of the investigation on how it got loose. North American Aerospace Defense Command confirms that they've grounded the second blimp that worked in conjunction with its sister ship, the one that broke free Wednesday from its mooring at Aberdeen Proving Ground. The Pennsylvania State Police are now in the process of deflating the wayward blimp, which landed in a tangle of trees along a steep ravine in Muncie, Pennsylvania. You may have heard um, shotgun shots. Uh, that is how we are uh, deflating it. The Joint Land Attack Cruise Missile Defense Elevated Netted Sensor System, or J Lens, is in two pieces. Critically sensitive equipment has already been removed. For the easy pieces, we've been already been able to remove, and uh, some of the more difficult pieces that are being standard guard. The J Lens broke loose from Aberdeen Proving Ground around 12:20 p.m. Wednesday. The military dispatched two fighter jets to monitor its every move. It drifted from Aberdeen into Pennsylvania for hours, causing electrical outages to some 27,000 customers after its tether hit power lines. It's crazy. I didn't know what was going on. We hey, lost, we lost our power where I live. How strong is it? Oh, it's very strong. Um, it's about 82,000 pounds of tensile strength, and that's three times stronger than Kevlar. Major Beth Smith wrote the manual on the J lens. The equipment detects cruise missiles covering a distance from New York to Norfolk, Virginia. It's tied to a mobile mooring station. It's about the size of a semi truck, and the tether goes up to the aerostat, which stays at a height of about 10,000 feet above ground level. Why it broke free is still under investigation, and so is whether the JLIN's rapid deflation device responded properly. The military is still working on a recovery plan. After we complete the uh, deflation, then we'll work on to the next step, which is uh, the removal. According to military officials, a two-person accident investigation team is now assigned to the case. They expected to remove the tail section of the blimp today, the larger hull, in a day or two. Reporting live from Aberdeen, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.